getting colder. The leaves are changing colour on the trees. Christmas is coming! Oh no! It's time for me to make my Christmas cake! Already? Yes! I know Christmas is only in December, but we need to make Christmas cakes two or three months before Christmas. Come with me and I'll show you why. Hello, I'm Rachel. Welcome to Smile English Stories, where you can listen to English in lots of different contexts. But you need to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get a notification from YouTube. In France, when I say I make my Christmas cake two or three months before Christmas, they say, but doesn't it go hard? like an old baguette? Or doesn't it go mouldy like an old piece of cheese? In England, and I think in Australia, Christmas cake is made with a lot of dried fruit. And dried fruit that we soak in a very strong alcohol. A spirit like whiskey or French brandy. So you can keep Christmas cake for a long time. But I'm not sure if they have Christmas cake in America. Let's phone my American friend Diane and ask her. She lives in Iowa which is about 300 kilometers west of Chicago. And she's my Chinese teacher. So let's see. She's probably with her chickens. She likes chickens. Ni hao, Diane. Ni hao, Rachel. Diane, we have a question. Do you have Christmas cake in America? Oh. In the U.S., in the United States, we don't usually say Christmas cake. People probably won't understand if you said Christmas cake. But if you said fruit cake, they would know what you meant, for sure. Um, and a lot of Americans don't even like fruit cake. They think it's gross. <laughs> I think it's because... There are some really bland, tasteless, uninteresting fruit cakes in the stores. But I make a fruit cake every year because my dad loves fruit cake. Oh, really? And my fruit cake has real fruit in it that's soaked in rum first. And then the whole cake is baked and it's soaked in rum again. Ah, rum. That's interesting. Can I have the recipe? Oh, sure, yeah. You could have the recipe. Mm -hmm. I'll send it. Um, would you like an egg? I have some chickens here, you know. Yeah, um, well, let's see. I'll go look in here. Oh, here we go. Here's an egg. Xie xie, Diane. Yep, you're welcome. Ciao. Nice seeing you, Rachel. By the way, Diane has a YouTube channel for learning Chinese. So if you know anybody who is learning Chinese or who teaches Chinese, it could be very useful, very helpful to them. So, I'll put the link at the end of the video. Okay, so now I have two fruit cake recipes. Diane's American fruit cake and my family's English Christmas cake. 
I think we should make both, don't you? Yummy! I love Christmas cake. So I have just made a long shopping list for all the ingredients. So we can go to the supermarket. I've got my car keys, I've got my purse, and I've got my shopping bag. See you later. So I have just come back from the supermarket. So now I am going to unpack the shopping. There are a lot of ingredients for two Christmas cakes. It's not a cheap cake to make, it's quite expensive. Oh, but it's just so good. So for the American fruit cake, we need to soak dried fruit for three days. So we need six and a half cups of dried fruit. Six and a half cups is about 950 grams. And you can use the dried fruit that you prefer. You could use apricot, you could use cranberries or figs, you could use currants, raisins, sultanas. I'm going to use cranberries and apricots, dried apricots that I have just cut into little pieces and a mixture of currants, raisins and sultanas. So I have finished weighing all my dried fruit and now I'm ready to put them to soak in two cups that's about 480 millilitres of rum. Okay, ready to shake. has been soaking for three days. So today we can prepare the cake mixture and then put it in the fridge and we can prepare some walnuts to mix in the cake tomorrow. So first we need to cream, we need to mix 170 grams of butter with about 200 grams of brown sugar. Okay, I'm just going to take some out so you can see it should be nice and creamy. Next, we need to add five eggs, one by one, one at a time. I can put the eggshells in the bin. I have just weighed 250 grams of brown flour, which I am going to mix with some spices and add them little by little with a spoon to the liquid. And then I'm ready to add my bag of dried fruit, soaked dried fruit, which actually is smelling very good. Mm. Okay, so now that's ready to go in the fridge for one night, overnight. Nuts, but you could use pecan nuts in some salty water 
and then leave them for a few hours, three or four hours, so they will be ready to roast. For the English Christmas cake, you only need to soak the dried fruit for 12 hours. So you need 400 grams of currants, that's the little tiny ones. You need 150 grams of sultanas, 150 grams of raisins and 100 grams of glassy cherries. But it's better if you cut them in little pieces. So now we just need to put all the dried fruit in a big bowl and mix it with three tablespoons of spirit. So I'm using brandy. Let's go. Okay, so we need to leave it for 12 hours, at least 12 hours, so you can cover it either with a plate or with a tea towel. So it's day five and we are going to be able to bake to cook in the oven the cakes. So first we need to prepare the tins and for the American fruit cake it's easy. Diane says we just need to grease and flour the tin. Now you normally you need a 22 and a half by 12 and a half centimeter loaf tin loaf because it's like a loaf of bread. So my tin is a little longer but not as wide so I think it should be okay. For the English Christmas cake it's more complicated. First you need to grease and line the tin with grease proof paper. So I have just drawn round the tin so I can cut a circle out. Next I'm going to grease the tin. So I like using a round tin for a Christmas cake and put the paper in the tin. So that's in the bottom. And now I need to cut some paper to go round the tin. That's pretty long. I hope it's long enough. Okay, just a little bit longer. So it's perfect. But it's not finished. Next, we need to prepare some newspaper to go round the outside of the tin to protect the cake while it's cooking. That's not long enough. Okay. I think two should be okay. And then you need to prepare two big circles with a hole in the middle to go over the top of the cake. I use these every year. So now both tins are ready, I can finish making the cakes. <laughs> special English ingredient but you can make it if you don't have it. I'll put the ingredients on the screen. So I've 
think I have almost all the ingredients for the English Christmas cake but I do have a little problem. Something is missing and it's a special ingredient from England called treacle. So I'm going to phone my mum and see if she has any in her cupboard. Hi mum. Oh, hi Rich. Mum, I have a little problem. I'm making my English Christmas cake and I don't have any treacle left. Yeah, I've run out of treacle. Do you have any in your cupboard? Oh yes, I think I have some in the cupboard. Thanks. I'll just have a look. There we are. Oh great. Thanks mum, that's brilliant. You're welcome. Take care. Treacle is a very dark, very sticky, very thick liquid we put in Christmas cake because it gives it a lovely brown colour. It's very bitter. So now we have everything. I can cream, I can mix my butter and my sugar in the food processor. So next, we need to prepare the dry ingredients. So I have grated an orange and I have grated a lemon and I am going to put the zest with the flour and put my spices in the flour too and add some ground almonds now you can use ground almonds or you could use chopped almonds or sliced almonds it smells really good I think it's the orange and the lemon and the spices, of course. I have already whisked the eggs with a fork. So now we can add the eggs and the dry ingredients alternately into the butter and sugar mixture. So next, I am going to add one dessert spoon, one dessert spoon of treacle. So it should have a really nice brown colour. Very sticky. So can you see? It looks a lot browner with the treacle. So lastly, we need to mix the dried fruit that was soaked in brandy. It smells really good. So we can put the mixture straight in the cake tin. If you put a little bit more mixture at the edge and less in the middle, the cake should be flat. It should be level when it's cooked. in the oven at 140 degrees Celsius. So I am going to switch the oven on 
And then we can finish the American fruit cake. Oh, so this is the American fruit cake. It's heavy. Last night I prepared the nuts, the walnuts. I roasted them and then I broke them into little pieces. So now I need to mix them in with a wooden spoon. My tin wasn't big enough, it was too small, so I made a little one too. The American fruit cake cooks for about two and a half to three hours and the English fruit cake for about four and a half hours in the bottom of the oven. So, see you in a few hours. So, here we are. Two American fruit cakes and one English Christmas cake. So, let's see. Ah, that comes out clean, so that's perfect. You want to see? It's nice and brown. It's looking good. So when they have cooled down, I will need to wrap the American cakes in a rum soaked cloth and the Christmas cake will need feeding with brandy every week. So which is the best? Well the American fruit cake took a lot longer to make. We needed five days but the English Christmas cake was a lot more difficult to put in the tin. But we will need to wait till Christmas to taste the cakes. I'll make you another little video to show you how to decorate the cakes nearer Christmas. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time for a fun video about Lucky Friday. See you then.